so much. A lightning strike zaps the power for thousands of people, and we're getting an exclusive look tonight at the damage done by lightning at an Overton Power District substation in Moapa. The damage substation provides power to several cities north of Las Vegas and some areas in Arizona. Early Wednesday morning, a monsoon thunderstorm passed through, causing a power outage lasting 11 hours. Anchor Abel Garcia has an exclusive look at what was happening. Many cities north of Las Vegas were left with no power for nearly half a day. It was it was pretty miserable. We had, you know, just with the heat as well, but we had two freezers that were full of food and refrigerators. Not only a problem for homes, but also businesses. Brian Redman's mortuary business came to a stop with funerals scheduled to happen and no power preserving the deceased had deadly urgency. We did uh, transfer some uh, unembalmed remains to another facility in Las Vegas where there was refrigeration. Redman was one of the thousands impacted by the power outage at the substation in Moapa. His mortuary has been in Longdale for 30 years. He says he has experienced power outages before, but never 11 hours long. I had a family that was going to do a church service and they ended up going to the mortuary and kind of doing things in the dark. A few miles away at MacLean Middle School, parents and grandparents pull their students out of hot classrooms. A school employee explaining AC units are still not working after yesterday's outage. 91 degrees in some of the school rooms, so we came by to see if our kids wanted to come home or if they want to stick it out and they wanted to, to leave. The fire started, you have that piece over there that was connected right here. Overton Power District General Manager Mendes Cooper gave 13 Action News an exclusive tour of the damage from the fire. The pole on the left took the hit. It's been repaired and helps power this substation. In order for these crews to restore that power, they had to cut off this pole. And how this all came about is that a lightning bolt struck the left arm that's right over my head. That left arm then fell down, hitting the insulator and sparking a fire, leading to the power outage of more than 20,000 individuals in this rural area an arrestor to to bleed off some of the you know over voltage from lightning strikes yeah. it, it was burned up these are the remains from the fire flames so hot it burned through steel and wire it's not rare not at all when when these when these monsoon storms come through every at the end of every summer our guys uh, just try to be prepared because stuff like this always happens with the power out on a day with triple digit temperatures, customer service supervisor Christy Ames says she started working at 3 a.m., calling customers to let them know about their emergency services, including locations with power and cooling stations. She says she is thankful there were no medical emergencies. It's very challenging. People panic. Um, the gas stations were not open, so they couldn't get fuel. Um, they want to know what time. They're concerned about their groceries in their refrigerators. Again, all power has been fully restored for every person that was impacted by this power outage. And Overton Power District managers say they are monitoring these storms very closely to make sure something like this doesn't happen again. I'm Abel Garcia reporting from the Tortoise substation in Moapa.